This morning, with cases rising in every state, the U.S. is seeing the highest number of infections since February. Hospitals in many southern states pushed to the brink. We're at a, an emergency situation here, no doubt about it. Arkansas's governor regretting his previous uh, ban on masks. Uh, it was an error to sign that law. I, I admit that. The Pentagon now mandating vaccinations for nearly 2 million service members by mid-September. And with major school districts opening soon across the country, there's growing concern about keeping kids safe. Last week, there were nearly 94,000 new infections in children, an increase of nearly 80% in a month. Hospital rates among kids have tripled, but the debate over masks in schools is only intensifying. Let the parents make the decisions. Let the kids breathe. In Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis is banning districts from requiring masks, even threatening to cut the salary of any superintendent who defies him. In a terse letter, Florida's chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics called his rhetoric dangerous and pushed for universal masking in schools. Fifth grade teacher Alyssa Tate says none of her students complained about wearing masks last year. We want our students to feel safe. We want our families to feel like they're sending their kids to a safe environment. Tennessee mom Mersana Merrick wishes she'd been more diligent about masking her daughter Blair. The nine-year-old who is immunocompromised tested positive for COVID last week. Unable to breathe, she was put on a ventilator. This after her father passed away just three weeks ago. At his viewing, she told me she wanted to be with him. I was scared that she would just not fight because she wanted to be with her dad. Luckily, Blair is now recovering and breathing on her own. Mercada says masking kids should not be a political debate. That's your child. That's your baby. Do you really want to risk it? The CDC is urging that anybody going into a high transmission area like a school wear a mask. And they tell us now that these N95 masks, of course, are the most effective. These masks, the ones that we've gotten from like hospitals, they're about 40 percent effective. And the cloth masks, well, they're the least effective, about 20 percent protection. But they point out even this is better than nothing. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.